In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a budget for your Amazon dropshipping store using this Google Sheet, which I will share with you in the description of this video. And in doing that, we're going to look at some of the possible expenses you might have, the income, as well as a profit calculation, which will all be set up for you with formulas. Now, um, the first thing is the Amazon professional account. The Amazon professional account, this is necessary if you're going to be drop shipping on Amazon. You need this to help you get the buy box and to get more sales. So that, that is $39.99 a month. And we will put that down first. Now, then we have the software for tracking your supplier stock and price. This can cost you as little as $14.99 if you use the one that I recommend. And I have a free training on that. I will have everything linked in the video. Um, then there is a software for repricing against competition. And this can run you a bit more, about $39.99 a month. But let me talk about this one first. Uh, I would say this is optional. What it does is actually it keeps trying to undercut your competitors as they undercut you. However, the reason why I say this is optional is because this software that tracks the supplier stock and price, it actually um, also reprices your items for you. So it already does the repricing. You don't have to do the repricing with this. However, it does not uh, compete with other sellers. So you need this software if you want to start competing with other sellers automatically. Okay, so I'm going to say that's optional. Uh, now, then you have software for uploading tracking numbers. And um, again, you don't need this to be done automatically. You can do this yourself manually from your own email shipments. However, this is a software that I do recommend that can automatically upload the tracking numbers. As you can see, it has the carriers, but it only works with the well-known carriers and also with certain well-known suppliers. It is not going to work with every single supplier or carrier. So this is actually way cheaper. If you only have one account, I think it runs somewhere around $11.99 or maybe $12.99. You'll have to check the link to see. I don't remember the exact starting cost. Um, then you also have uh, on this list software for finding products, which is basically sourcing software. Now, this is going to be your highest priced software. Here's an example of sourcing software. This is one that I have plenty of training on and I also recommend and use personally. And you'll see that uh, it can scan items at the supplier, give you the profit. It finds the matches on Amazon, um, which is a big time saver. But it also costs money because of that time saver so it's about $79 is the going rate for that software right now per month all right um, so again saves time but it's a it's a good price um, now these are optional business phone business address I did want to just mention these briefly and I'm gonna leave these blank because they're so optional uh, now once we have the expenses I'm going to basically highlight these whoops highlight these down here right before the total click on the sum button and press enter and that will give you 185.96 for your total expenses again you can take out the ones you're not going to do now let's go to the income and income is much more simple than expenses you basically have the payments that come from Amazon which come from your sales and then you have the cash back those are the two sources of income I have right now, right? So let's say I got $1,000 in Amazon payments for the month. Let's just say. Remember, this is after fees. This is after returns. Everything is coming out, and they're leaving you with $1,000. Then you get cash back. Cash back is usually a small amount compared to the sales because the percentages are generally small for cash back. Let's just say you got $50 cash back. I'll just say $50. Um, well, what would your net income be? For that, you simply, I'm going to highlight these. This will be set up for you in the Google Sheet when you download it. And I'll just press enter. And that is $1,050. So now you made $1,050. You made $1,050. However, that is not your profit. All right, so now for the summary, which is where we do the profit summary, I'm going to delete these. Now first, how do we get the net income? The net income is just the net income. Now you could just take the number and copy it or what I will do is set up a link. So I will do equal 
then go to the income page click on the net income press enter and that will copy it into here I'm gonna bold that then I also have the total expenses I'll do that again equal go to the expenses tab click on the total expenses press enter and now you have the total expenses I'm going to bold that as well um, now thirdly this is a big one the purchases which is called cost of goods all right what did you how much did you have to spend in purchases on a credit card or from your bank account in order to do the orders so you might have spent about five hundred dollars in purchases let's say I'm just making up a number five hundred dollars so it took five hundred dollars to make the one thousand fifty that came in right so what you're going to do now is you're going to say equal for the net profit and again this will be on the sheet for you I'm going to take the income subtract the expenses so minus the expenses and then minus the cost of goods this gives me a net of three hundred sixty four dollars and four cents so this would be my profit given these numbers so remember this is after expenses and everything so this is actually your profit so as you can see even though you may have expenses for software if you sell enough if you do enough sales um, if you have the money and this is a big part um, that a lot of people who are teaching forget to talk about which is that you need a certain amount of uh, purchases to make the money in the first place so if you have the five hundred dollars in purchases uh, available somewhere okay on a credit card or in your bank account then you can create the sales right so you have to have a certain amount of money there right um, but even though you have these expenses if you have enough money and you have enough products to make the sales you can beat the expenses and make a profit over here all right and I'm actually going to make this red just to match the net profit so um, again the link for this Google sheet will be available in the description of this video as well as links to um, some of the softwares I recommend for these um, some of them also have uh, or at least uh, one or two of them should have um, training a training series on my channel as well if you've never seen those before so you can check out the training for those softwares as well and uh, if you have any comments suggestions or questions on this topic or just Amazon dropship in general feel free to leave them below or respond to the email when you subscribe for a copy of this Google sheet this is mr. mark with self Amazon dropshipping and I hope to see you in another video